What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today we're going to be going over new RPS for this week. Kicking it off, I wanted to let you guys know that there's some free themes available. If you're on the US side of the things, um, you can also create a US uh, store as well. I mean, it's super easy to create a US uh, PSN and, uh, name and account. Um, you guys can find that on my channel as well. Let's go ahead and search free price first, and then I'm going to do release date first. Now we got Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. We're going to preview all these towards the end of the video. We got one, two, three, four free themes and a partridge. No, I'm just kidding. Let's go ahead and check out the new games that are available this week, and then we'll preview the actual theme. So here we go. New on PS4 this week. Uh, even though it's new, I still like to do uh, release dates first because sometimes Sony <laughs> tries to organize things the way that they want. No, it's not happening today. We got Final Fantasy. Uh, you can pre-order the Zodiac Age if you guys are feeling it. Um, this game's available now. I haven't played it, but if anybody has, let me know how it is. I'm interested. Um, but one thing that I'm interested in is Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Now this game is fan freaking tastic. It comes with one, two, three Crash Bandicoot games. Gotta get my hands on it. I'm broke as a joke right now. Gotta keep it real, right? Gotta keep it real. Um, but I need to get my hands on it. A S A F P. If you guys know what that means, uh, don't don't put that in the comment section below. <laughs> need for Speed. An EA family bundle, so you know, dad can play Need for Speed, uh, son can play Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2, and then mom can play Unraveled, and, and everybody will have a great time. Um, maybe, maybe the daughter because she, she doesn't like to be left out. I mean, maybe she's into uh, Need for Speed and drifting and getting all crazy. Who knows? Uh, Spider Man, I'm gonna hold off on this one, I'm waiting for the actual game to be released. <laughs> So, I'm not spending any money on Spider-Man until I, I see the actual Spider-Man PS4 game. Uh, because I'm actually hyped for it. It looks absolutely amazing. And the fact that it's kind of got the same battle sequence as uh, Batman Arkham series is pretty freaking awesome. Micro Machines World Series is on sale, 10% off. And then we got uh, The Division Public Test Server. It's free. It is free. PTS public test server it's free starting today so if you guys hop on it let me know how it goes um i would say dude anytime there's anything free give it a shot give it a go and you never know we get we got a uh, some more uh neo geo uh games released super baseball 2020 i mean it's gonna be insane no, I'm just kidding. Let it die. They got some. Uh, they got some currency now. Let it die is a free-to-play game, but if you know you're really into Let It Die and you appreciate the developers and you want to throw some money at the screen uh, at the same time and get yourself some loot, that's available. Um, I usually don't. Uh, I have in the past, like for Guns Up, I did because I really like the game and the fact that I got it for free. I could spend five bucks on, on an add-on. And uh, which actually enhanced my game quite a bit. Um, even though it was like a free to play and you didn't really need to pay anything to win, it, it definitely did hook your bo your boy up. So, um, you know, there's there's a lot of different options. You could go from like five bucks to a hundred bucks, um, back down to thirteen dollars or even ninety nine cents. Um, so, I mean that that that's pretty cool in my opinion. Um, have you has anybody tried Diablo three, the internal collection? If you did, let me know in the comment section below. I'm curious. I want to know how this plays out on PS four, and uh, it's on sale right now, thirty four percent off. That is fan freaking tastic. Okay, uh, enough of us rambling on over here. You you guys pretty much get to see everything that that was released so far uh let's go ahead and check oh this is a crash bandicoot one isn't it cool okay from top to bottom it's exactly the same uh but i do like each and every time i review a theme one thing i definitely recommend changing the icons and changing things around and they added boxes i'm gonna smash them all when i press x 
<laughs> but it's pretty cool. I like it. I like the little logo in the background, like with the heart pump. And whoa, Crash Bandicoot is uh, raising your eyebrows at me, bro. He's like, "Are you gonna buy the game? Huh? 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 Are you gonna buy the game? I am. Okay, don't put pressure on me. I will be getting the game." Uh, <laughs> uh, that being said, there's like a lot of stuff going on. Uh, there's a lot of still images, but it kind of gets brought to life with some moving objects too. And the Hudabegas over there, I don't know what they're officially called, but I call them Hudabegas uh, because every time I played like Crash Bandicoot back in the day, it was like Hudabega. Oh, heck yeah. I'm invincible, baby. Get three of those. You're invincible. Get two. And it's like, okay, you can hit me, bro. I, I still have one more. And then if you have one more, it's like, oh, got to try to save it. Oh, I got hit. Okay. The pressure's on. I better not die. And what is Crash's girl doing in the background? Why is she so scared? Is it because the, the evil Hudabega is like trying to come after Crash? And Crash is just like, what's up? I just defeated the level. I'm standing on the portal. And we're going to a new world. I don't know. But that is an awesome theme and I'm probably going to leave it there. But I wanted to show you guys the other themes as well. Uh, just in case you guys wanted to check it out. And it, I'll save you a, a download. Uh, you know, I'll save you a download and save you the, the time and effort into downloading and installing and changing your theme to what this is. And uh, this is this is pretty decent. I mean, they didn't change too much. They did change the icons, which is cool. I'd probably use the icons in the near future if they allowed us to. And we could just change the background. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, keep the icons, change the background. But as far as the theme goes, I'm not really feeling this one. You know, Crash Bandicoot, but it's like, what? So let's go ahead and check out the other two. And then I'm going to switch it back to Crash Bandicoot. Are you guys going to be downloading the Crash Bandicoot theme? Uh, are you not? Let me know in the comment section below. This one's Unbox. And uh, let's go ahead and unbox it. Okay, so they did change the icons, which the icons are pretty cool in my opinion. Like the little chalk sketches and stuff. That That's pretty cool. Um, one thing I also noticed is like the boxes, they like... There's some happy ones. There's, there, there's one that's playing music and stuff. And then uh, there's one with like dead eyes. And he's like <clears throat> with his tongue out. But it kind of feels depressing in my opinion. This theme kind of feels depressing. They got some cool landscapes, some cool pictures. But with how dark it is, it, it kind of feels depressing to me. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I get their intention. But at the same time, it's like it you darken the the background it's it's not cool anymore <laughs> let's go ahead and check out far cry 5 who far cry 5 excuse me who's excited for far cry 5 hit me up in the comment section below i will be curious as to know okay welcome to falls end home of the hope hope county unless you're a sinner why did why did they write sinner on a church? That is just that that that's just insane. And then the water tower <laughs> says falls in. That's cute, bro. There's a lot of little stuff going on. Not too much. The flag swinging around. It. I think that's pretty cool. They got some dirt like kind of like floating across the bottom of the screen. And then we get I don't know if it's bugs that are flying past or dust mites or. Um, there's little white things that are flying past if you guys see that. And then let's see what else we got. We got, uh, let's go down here. Let's, no, let's go down here. Okay, that's a better view. Okay, so we, we get what appears to be maybe a diner or a motel. The lights flashing on and off in the middle of the screen. Do you guys see that? And then, uh, we also got a freaking house on fire. Do you guys see that? That's pretty crazy. Um, take a look at this watch it over let me know is there any other like hidden uh, you know easter eggs or hidden things that you know maybe i did not catch while i was doing this uh quick review of the theme i noticed the trees blowing back and forth that's pretty cool too the church bell just rang ladies and gentlemen it's time to change the theme back to crash bandicoot because we are not sinners over here um we 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 are awesome people that you know play video games there's a difference bro there's a difference no i'm just kidding uh but let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section below what do you guys think about new on ps4 this week i mean what really made it is crash bandicoot and what also really made it 
is this new free theme, which is fan free fantastic, like I said, in my opinion. But you guys will definitely let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you guys don't, you know, care about new on PS4, have no comment whatsoever, uh, a comment still helps me out. So, what's up, Monkey Flopper? Why the heck is Crash Bandicoot raising his eyebrows at me? Uh, hit me up in the comment section below. Make sure to hit a like. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, bell notification. That way you guys know when I, one, go live, and two, post a video. Because I love to see those first comments. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, fiftieth, a hundred, a thousand. No, I'm just kidding. But I actually do like to see those comments. I know some people are like, oh, I can't believe that first comment. That's so old. Um, but I, I, I like the interaction that you guys give me. So I appreciate you guys. And anyways, enough of me rambling on. I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.